Wildfires, especially forest fires, have been a hot topic lately. With all this talk about fire, risk reduction inevitably comes up. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective practices you can use to slow the spread of fire, reduce the risk of losing your trees, and reduce the likelihood of a crown fire, which is one of the most destructive forms of forest fires. It's called high limbing. High limbing is where you prune the lower side branches up to a desired height. So we call these side branches ladder fuels. Ladder fuels are what a wildfire uses to climb its way into a tree or a forest canopy. Shrubs, tall grasses, and small trees can also be ladder fuels. So as I'm high limbing this tree, I remind myself with the smaller trees, you don't want to remove any more than 20 to 40% of the canopy, depending on the type of tree, especially at this age. High limbing not only removes ladder fuels, but it also provides benefits to plant life by promoting the vertical growth of the tree and helping herbaceous plants by bringing more light to the forest floor. When pruning trees, be sure not to take too many branches and always use clean, sharp tools when performing pruning cuts. You can actually transfer diseases from one tree to the next from the sap and sawdust that gets collected on the teeth. So you always want to use clean tools. When you finish high limbing, be sure to pull the branches away from the base of the tree to continue reducing that fire risk. Quick tip, if you have a lot of little dead branches, you could use your foot or a club to just stomp them off. At this point, the tree has already compartmentalized the dead branch on the inside of the trunk, so if it's not perfectly clean, the tree will be fine anyway. So the examples I've shown you in this video have all been with small trees, but the techniques work on larger trees as well. Now, when you're just starting out, when you're learning how to care for your land, care for your property, or you really don't have much experience, it's important to go slow. Take it easy, cut less, seek out the advice of somebody more experienced than you, because the last thing we want to do is inflict ecological harm on the land that we're trying to care for.